YouTube, today we have Acid Golem of Destruction. Now, I kind of glossed over this card back when the box came out. You can't special summon any monsters when it's on the field. And if it has no materials, it can't attack. That's a pretty big downside, right? But what if you were to cheese it and give it to your opponent with Mystic Box? You blow up their card, give them your golem, and then they can't do anything unless their deck plays a Tribute Summon, which not very many decks in Duel Links do right now. So let's dive right into the KC Cup and see if we can find anyone to um to just cheese off the face of the planet. I feel like that's going to be a fun little video of today. Of course, we're going first, which is fine. We can at least set up a bit of a board, but we're playing Maker. We're playing with the fish deck because it's easy to make a rank. Ah. Oh my god, really? You'll give me my entire spell and trap card lineup besides a monster? The <laughs> Konami, of course. The, the recording curse comes back into full swing. Just, just hope and pray. The uh, ah, okay. Uh, Casey Cup just apparently doesn't like me today. So, with the worst of RNG out of the way, let's go into our second duel. No, wait, no, our first duel of the day, Copium. Jot's duel level 10 hasn't really played ranked playing Axel Brody, which is a deck that does put monsters on board turn one, which is really good for our deck. So, please give me that going second. There we go, going second. I've never had the deck brick that hard. Oh my god, that was uh, oh my god, we opened it. We, we, Magician Girls as well. Oh, okay. So, this really depends on how he's playing it, right? If he's playing um, the level 5, right, the Kiwi, then he can very easily outlist. Which is kind of annoying, but but sure, we can we can still try and pull it off and see if he actually knows how to, uh, how to outlist. So, let's go into our Angler, and then we can start going in to our Bahamut Shark. Now we can actually just make like a, a god board here, but I want to keep this uh, the shark up so we can have our fish up charge active. But let's go into Bahama Shark, Sun Angler, and detach that to play our Acid Golem, and then we're gonna give it to our opponent with the Mystic Box. Right, Barry, sorry, you're um you're getting taken destroyed. You're gonna get done with that. Oh no, wait, Barry um has the effect right? It turned to defense mode, but I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter, right? He just summons a monster. It doesn't matter. Summon to Lemon. Destroyed. Get rid of it. I'm going to set my charge. And I think I'm just going to end on that. Just in case he does try and do anything else. But now, the fun begins. And he starts getting burnt for 1,000 damage. Every single standby phase. It's so good. It's such a cheesy way of playing. Uh, you know, Chocolate Magician Girl coming out. I'm going to be discarding one to draw one. Which, you know, is, is fine. Maybe should have done the fish depth charge. Oh, here we go. That's going to be probably tripping to, I would assume, add a kiwi. Adding the ki Of course, you add the kiwi. Uh, that's that's kind of bad, right? Yeah, because... Um, can I be targeted with card... Oh. Yeah, she's just like a blanket protection. That's kind of rough. You got something you can play? Let's just let's make the hope woven. And then let's just sit on Hope Woven and our Bahama. And then Bahama can make our uh, our watery boy. The I wish had a material. Right? Part of me wishes the Bahama Shark put a material on board on the monster. Because then we could what is he got they can play? because uh, then we could sit on our uh, our little sharky boy, here this boy, attack in. And then and then we can just deal damage with, with with this thing. We can we can freely attack into the lemon because lemon won't special summon, which is great. This is kind of the good thing about this deck though is that even if you do run into a situation where it's like this, where you have the golem, but they can just shoot over it, it's fine because you're setting up so much. You know you're such a big board in front of you that it doesn't really ma invocation. There we go. Here he comes. Come on, show me the Purgatrio. But usually it doesn't matter because. You have such a, a good board outside of the, uh, the the guy that you can easily kind of dismantle this board. So this um, is kind of you know annoying. Gonna be 38. We can um, activate the effect of Hope Woven here that doesn't really do anything because uh, that at least oh actually no this actually needs to happen because otherwise he can attack multiple. You can attack everything once right. So we do need to detach this to make it weaker. Even though it won't die, we still. Oh, Kiwi coming in. The 
just makes her a bit bigger. But doesn't really do anything here. And he can't. He wants to crash. Okay, you want to crash? That's fine. Because we can then summon back out our uh, our Sharky boy. We'll summon back our boss or shark in attack mode. And then he's going to scoop. Excellent. Not really the outcome we wanted with our with, with our with our acid golem of destruction but you know sure we'll we'll take every little every little kind of win we can get but let's try and go for another one let's try and see if we can hopefully do the burn damage win because i've done it a couple of times right uh, a lot of times people do scoop because they just realize that okay they can't really do anything which is fair enough but the one negative of this deck is that you are blocking your opponent out from playing so it's a very anti-fun deck but it's still very fun to pull off so in my mind I'm having fun. In their mind, they probably aren't having fun. And uh, if we open, if we draw one more monster, then we have the combo. If not, we can set a fish depth charge if we draw into it. Uh, or we can, you know, just set our shark and then whitefish next turn, bring it back. This isn't as bad as it might look. But of course, you just, you know, open the, the card you, you really want to see one of. He has, he's playing Gigiano MK2 Gear Gears. Okay. Haven't seen them in about a year, <laughs> uh, a year plus. It would have been like, well, yeah, a year ago when we had the uh, the mini box, the Bronk mini box with the uh, Gear Gigant XG uh, kind of thing. XC summon into rank three Gear Gear Gigant XG, which I don't even really know what this guy does, but it can negate the effects in the battle phase, which is okay. For some reason, oh no, okay, our Umi spell is making it weaker. That that's fine, but. I don't think that's very good. Let's just set these and, uh, and, and and set our fish and then hopefully we can have a play next turn. Normal summoning into Gear Gear Accelerator, which on summon you can... Uh, no, why would you not just special summon it? Right? Oh, okay. He's then doing this one with that special. Okay. That's fine. He can make a rank four, which, you know, if it's Gear Gears, I would probably just make the spider, right? And then try and go for a, a direct attack game with uh with your spider and your, your Gigantex G. That's what I would personally do. But are you do you actually have it? Because all these so far I believe have been rare and normals. So you might be playing a bit of a sky free-to-play deck. That is a free-to-play Xyz. That is a free-to-play Xyz. Which doesn't do anything. Because we don't have an effect. Or a face-up card, sorry. Yeah, go on, give me a Give me, give me a, give me a window. Yeah, fish depth charge. Here we go. We're gonna be destroying this to destroy your Gigant XG, and then we'll get a draw one, and into the Buster Shark, into the, into the starter card we should have seen. And now we will proceed to cheese play you to death. In the, in, in, in the words of Guns Blazing, cheese the play. Let's go. Detaching to summon our Golem of Destruction. We're gonna then Mystic Box the hell out of this guy. Sending you back to Fortnite to your opponent's side of the field. There we go. Puts him into the field, and now he just can't do anything. And we could probably add some back to our hand for protection. We probably should do that actually. Uh, White fish probably just go and grab, um, grab the angler right, and then just like sit in defense just in case, you know, in case he invents, you know, Rageki and uh, or something. But he can't attack. He can't special summon. He's on 5k life. He's gonna slowly burn to death. Every turn, 1k damage, there goes one. Come on, Jaden. It's Gigias. You do not play a tribute. I think apart. Oh, maybe Mega Form actually. But Mega Form's two. So we can just keep, you know, getting rid of things with our uh, Bahama Shark, and we should be fine. Normal summon into Gigiano Mark III, which uh, doesn't really do anything uh, by itself, because it can't special summon, and you're just going to rage quit. Even. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go on. But hopefully one more game can we uh we can put it off every single game that'd be great you know to to varying degrees of success right but this is uh it's such a fun cheesy card that if you are bored of casey cup right and you're bored of just grinding it out and you want to have some at least some fun trying to get your daily four sets of gems or whatever then this is definitely worth a shot and i am playing a fairly uh you know aside from the Bahama shark really uh the deck is free to play you know, going right and actually, this is fine, right? Because Butunif always is going to be able to go in and grab a Lantern Shark, right? And then we can use that to summon a Buzzsaw 
and we can just set up on a very good turn one board the hopefully he can't um, fully dismantle and we're gonna end on uh, Bahamut and we can end on the Flamed Black Ray Lancer because that then gives us some protection Ono Mato play gonna be uh gonna be coming in clutch of course uh actual Yuma you know a Yuma cosplayer with a role player with the uh the uh, Utopia sleeves and the Utopia field and bouncing back a Gagaga -Ga -Ga bolt at the sister which we can kind of just stop that here right um if we just stop this here then he can't do anything because there's no just like outright special summon right he gets the search sure that's fine and oh the top deck into the whitefish salvage makes that better so much better but because we disrupted the sister i don't think he could do anything else no we can't that back row could be like a tth right i doubt it but we have salvage so we can bring back a lovely fish probably going to bring back actually for the moment the angler we can recycle it turn in turn out which is great but the purpose here is to just have this so that we can sit on it in defense and we can keep reusing our fish depth charge for uh, for later rounds and hopefully here we can attack in and not get our uh, our ass handed to us by a fiendish chain oh i didn't really want it to be on that that's the worst one it can be on but if if we do destroy you know a monster by battle then we can bop it but that's also one turn away you know an extra turn to getting towards our acid golem but right now it doesn't really look like he's going to be getting it off because if we disrupt a normal summon again then he can't do anything but we can also we can also believe actually yeah we can just remove it with death charge if we want to so normal summons the head okay but will he use the effect of yeah okay he's gonna do the bolt first which means we can then go and uh we'll depth charge the sister again so he can't make it a level six and go for the bouncer or the m7 we do that draw to mst excellent but can he no we can't he can't do anything else Wait, but but now <laughs> now we can at least like do the combo right <laughs> we can at least end on an on map player getting you know um or not we're just gonna win uh yeah uh so this deck is incredibly fun um i'm kind of a you know disappointed that we didn't get uh, a single uh full win from just uh burning them to death but it, it does happen only thing is you know that that first hand did kind of show that you can open on a brick like a proper brick like if you see more than one of these in your hand then you've bricked but you want to see this card as you know as quickly as possible right you want to see it turn two so you have to play three it's kind of annoying you know to, to, to play this meme to to acid golem your opponent to death it, it it's worthwhile right it's worthwhile playing so let me down below what you think thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next duelings video see you then